derivative of ex the limits ln2 from from ln2 to ln7 so anti derivative of ex is just ex okay and these are together this dx is also gone now we need to evaluate from ln2 to ln7 in fact we don't write but this one in for ax okay these are x values our independent variable is x in this question anyway now replace x by upper limit so e raised to ln7 minus replace x by lower limit e raised to ln2 uh, uh, this could be the final answer but we can simplify e raised to ln of some number positive number is just positive number because e and natural log are inverse functions to each other actions cancel and just a survives that means in our case e and natural log cancel 7 minus 2 which is 5 you can check this in your calculator as well e raised to ln 7 okay let's go to part 2 So we got antiderivative of ex, which is ex, minus antiderivative of 1, that's just x, and we have to go from 0 through ln 5. Replace x by ln 5, so e raised to ln 5 minus ln 5, that's the upper limit, since, the, uh, the, uh, since we have two terms. So I'm going to put negative in parenthesis for lower limit 0 e raised to 0 minus 0. Like in part A, e raised to ln 5 means e and ln cancel just 5. Minus ln 5 is a decimal number. I'm just going to leave ln 5. Minus this 0 doesn't count. e raised to 0 is 1, not 0 e raised to 0 is 1, 1 minus 0 is just 1 here. 5 and 1 are like terms, so 5 minus 1 is 4 minus ln 5. Final. Okay, part C. Got three terms, so antiderivative of 2x is x squared. Because derivative of x squared is 2x. Or you can go 2 times x means x raised to 1, x2 over 2, 2 to cancel, x squared. So regardless, antiderivative of x squared, sorry, 2x is x squared, okay, minus antiderivative of ex is just itself, plus antiderivative of 1 is x, and we evaluate from negative 1 to 0. Replace x throughout by 0 first, so that's upper limit, then minus replace x by lower limit, negative 1. So 0, 0 squared is 0, minus e raised to 0 is 1, plus 0. So I replace x by 0. Then by the fundamental theorem of calculus, that's the negative, now lower limit negative 1 is squared that's negative 1 quantity squared we are replacing x by negative 1 so that is just positive 1 minus e raised to negative 1 uh, this is a decimal number by the way plus negative 1 plus negative 1 means just minus 1 from the first part here 0 minus 1 plus 1 just negative 1 minus what is here now let's see 1 minus e to the negative 1 e raised to negative 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 0 so these two 0 so minus and negative e to the negative 1 so plus minus and minus plus e to the negative 1 okay this is the final answer or you can do negative 1 plus e to the negative 1 is 1 over e to the e where e is an irrational number whose value is about 2.7. So negative 1 plus 1 over e. Or you can combine, no need to combine, or you may leave here. Final.